Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back, my name is Grace, the one behind Fonts Cordy and you are in my art channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe for more. Okay, first, do you see any difference in the image? I'm using my phone to record, before I was using my webcam, but I think this looks better? Maybe? I don't know, let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Anyway, today I have a mini tiny art haul and we are going to try one of the new art supplies. First, the reason why I went to the art store. The fixative. I got a big can this time. This small one lasts me 12 works, so in theory this should last at minimum 20. This is just a local brand. It's matte finish because I don't like the glossy one. Then, while browsing through the store, I saw this. This is new for me. It's supposedly a varnish. This is a really cheap local brand and honestly, by the smell, I kinda thought it was just glue. By the way, don't go around sniffing stuff, do what I say, not what I do. Anyway, I got a small bottle to try and I already tried it in my sketchbook here. It, does no, it doesn't behave like glue, so that's good. I usually use cheap varnish in some spread of my sketchbook just to keep messy mediums in their place. Also by the same brand, I got some plain white paint. I needed to paint some wood figures and I also want to use it on my experimental sketchbook with some stencils I'm planning to make. If you want to see that process, let me know in the comments down below. And finally, the jackpot of the week, I got some polychromos. I was lucky because when I got to the store, lo and behold, the back to school sales just begun and the polychromos were buy two, get one free, so I got a nice palette of nine colors. This is a palette I know it works for me, I use similar tones with my Prisma colors, I'm familiar with them and we're going to try them right now. I don't have much time today to make a whole mixing grid in my swatch book, so let's do a quick spread on my sketchbook and let's just play with them. First, let's do a quick swatch. Here we have Naples Yellow, Beige Red, Pompeii Red, Dark Red, we also have Caput Morton Violet. For Blue, we have Middle Tallow Blue. Helio Blue Radish, and for greens we have Cobalt Green and Deep Cobalt Green. Okay, let's see what we can do with them.
surprised how creamy they are because the general opinion is these are more hard than the prisma colors and because of this i always thought they will be more scratchy but i'm impressed they are also super pigmented i am also surprised i didn't need to sharpen any of this with the prismas i will be glued to the sharpener Honestly, a big part of me was hoping to like them because they stopped selling open stock Prismacolors in my local art supply store. They only sell these ones now. And I was getting a little bit worried I couldn't find replacements for some of my favorite colors. I think I keep an eye for future sales so I can start my Polychromos collection. I would like some lighter yellow and some pastel blue and light teal will be nice. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Please take care and hope you have an amazing week. Until next time, bye-bye.